Well, I think the best time to talk about roof leaks is, I guess, when it's nice and sunny. Now, this video is a response to a request from one of our subscribers. And he said, why don't you do a video on the five main reasons why roofs leak? Now, obviously, I can only talk from my point of view. So it's got to be one of the five main reasons that roofs leak in Sydney. Well, it's really hard to limit everything to just five reasons but let's have a go at it now first of all we'll eliminate the cracked tile or the broken tile even though it's quite common it's something that's technically not a difficult thing to repair so if you've got a broken tile just replace it and the only tricky thing about a broken tile is sometimes it's just so hard to actually find which tile is broken but anyway five main reasons. Now the first one has got to be skylights. Now the way to lay a roof and not have it leak is not to cut any holes in it. So what's the most common reason why people cut a hole in the roof? And that's the main reason that we get roof leaks. It's because they cut a hole to put a skylight in. So as soon as you cut a hole, potentially you got a leak. So there are two reasons why skylights leak. One, you get them installed properly, but due to lack of maintenance, they block up and water doesn't flow where it's supposed to flow. You get blockages. So from a maintenance point of view, you would get a skylight that leaks. You've got a hole in your roof. So as soon as the skylight blocks up, it leaks into your roof cavity. The other reason is the installation. It's easy to cut a hole and then plonk a skylight on top. The difficult thing is to figure out how to put the skylight in properly because skylights are designed to be installed in particular fashions and if you don't do that then you will get a leak because the installer does not know how the skylight should be installed. For instance, a lot of VLUX skylights get installed incorrectly. Putting a tile skylight on a metal roof, for instance, and the roof not having sufficient pitch because most skylights are designed to go in a minimum pitch. So number one reason, if you've got a skylight, you've got to maintain it properly. And two, even before that, you have to make sure that it's installed correctly. So whenever I drive around and I see a roof with skylights, I go, potentially, there will be some leaks. So now, what do I think is the second main reason? And I would say that it's to do with tile roofs. Now, every change in angle of a tile roof will mean that you've got to cap it off. So the installation of the ridge capping and also the maintenance are the two main reasons you get leaks on tile roofs. Now roofers can get away with just slapping on ridge capping on tile roofs, but long term the problems that we encounter would be leakage due to the bedding or the pointing starting to peel, water gets in, if there are no weep holes or if the weep holes are blocked and water can't come out, then you get weepage leaks at the ridge capping. The other thing we see often is that when you cut the tiles at the ridge cap and if they're not cut properly and cut tight and you bed them, the bedding can actually suck water in and if there's not enough tile under the bedding, then the water then leaks down through the gap and into your cavity. So the installation of the ridge capping is quite critical. So if the installation is not done right, then long term you get problems. So installation wise, you can run into problems. From a maintenance point of view, if you don't get your ridge capping repointed and the ridge capping is loose, you get a lot of water go in and you get leaks at the ridge capping. 
So our number two main cause of leaks, I would think, would be from ridge capping on tile roofs. So now we go into number three. And I would say gutters. Gutters would be number three. Now, the third main reason for leaking roofs would have to be the gutters. And you'd think, well, the gutters are outside the house, so how come the gutters would be a problem? Now, you've got two types of gutters. You've got the box gutter, which is now within the house. So the box gutter's got its own problems. And from a maintenance point of view, if you don't keep the outlets clear and it gets blocked up, you get an overflow and you get a lot of water in the house. So from a maintenance point of view, with box gutters, block nozzles means leaking gutters. Also, from an installation point of view, there are quite a few joints on box gutters. And if the joints aren't made properly, then the joints will start to leak. So what about eaves gutters? How can they cause water to leak into the house? In most instances, they don't. And people have leaking eaves gutters and it doesn't bother them because in the rain, it just overflows outside. No water gets in the house. But sometimes when water does get into the eaves and if it runs into the eaves and into the cavity, then suddenly you get water come down your windows, the head of the window, and you wonder where's that water coming from? And it's because the eaves gutters are leaking onto the eaves and the eaves board drain the water down the cavity and into the head of the window. So if you've got a window leak, potentially your eaves gutters are overflowing backwards onto the eaves. And there are even some houses where there's an eaves gutter, but no eaves because the gutter sits directly over the wall. Now, in this case, you've got to be really careful because if the gutter overflows, then it goes straight into the cavity and the same thing happens. You get water down the cavity onto windows, if you've got windows, and you've got a window leak. So gutters are our number three reason. Now we're on to number four. And roofs are really easy to install if they are endless and they don't run into anything. But roofs often run into walls or other obstructions or the roofs change angle. And whenever that happens, you need roof flashings. And if those roof flashings aren't designed and installed correctly, then you will get roof leaks. And that's quite common because it's quite tricky to design and install roof flashings. And bear in mind that we use a lot of sealant nowadays. So the flashings are put together with a lot of sealant. And if the sealant is not installed correctly, then every single joint can potentially leak. So from an installation point of view, it is really critical to get the flashings right or the common roof leak will start happening. Now it's not often that we get maintenance problems with roof flashings, but if the roof isn't cleaned off and you have debris diverting water under the flashing, then you could have problems with a flashing leak, not by how it's installed, but because you are getting water in where it's not supposed to. And now that we've done with number four, we will end with the fifth main reason why roofs here in Sydney leak. And I would say it would have to be roof valleys. So every time you have a change in direction of a roof, you often have to put in a valley. Now valleys work really great if the pitch is steep because the valley sheds the water and you don't get the overflow problems with the roof valley. But nowadays we like to put in low pitch roofs. And roofers and builders think that, well, it just needs a valley, so we'll just put an ordinary valley in. Not knowing that on low pitch roof, the water doesn't run as quickly and there potentially be a problem with the water overflowing the edges of the valley. And that's why with low pitch roofs, you should not be putting valleys in, you should be putting box gutters in. But not a lot of people actually go down that track. So roof valleys on low profile roofs, 
they are so bad with water leakage. Now the other problem with roof valleys is how they are installed. So the detailing on the two ends is quite critical. The top end to ensure that there's no seepage leaks and the bottom end that discharges onto another section of the roof, it's got to be transitioned correctly so that the water will flow off the valley and onto the roof without having potentially any gaps that it can run into the roof cavity. So from an installation point of view, really critical to get the top end and the bottom end right. From a maintenance point of view, I see so many valleys that are full of leaves and people think that valleys are bomb proof, but they're not. Valleys only work if there's a free discharge of water along the valley. As soon as you put a blockage in, then because water cannot now run down the valley quickly enough, will overflow the sides and into the roof cavity. So, so it's really critical to keep your valleys clear because a lot of roof leaks occur at valleys when you have a long dry spell, rubbish gathers on the valley, you get a sudden storm and the debris forms a dam and the water's got nowhere to go except into your roof cavity. So that covers item number five. And I'll have to stress that these are the five main reasons why roofs leak in Sydney. There are a multitude of other reasons why they leak. Uh, in this video, I was told to cover just five. And I think I've got my favourite five reasons covered.